Howdy, howdy, howdy. It's me again, back with Gunner Energy Services, pulling back the curtain. Been a while. Didn't get too many nasty grams. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, they're so nasty. So we're going to do it again with our Blowout 101 series. Start you off here with an old blowout picture of a blowout that Myron Kinley did in Romania. Really long time ago, almost 100 years ago. Lots of earthwork on this job. So that's what we're going to talk about this time is earthwork. Let's go back and talk about what we did so far. We did the assessment, tried to figure out what we're going to do, get a good plan going. We started on the access. We rigged up firefighting equipment. We gathered equipment and cleaned off the location and all this kind of stuff so far we've got done on a worst case scenario. Next is pretty much we need to talk about earthwork because there's lots of earthwork that's got to be done, not just around the well itself, but out away from the well, many projects. And we're going to talk about those. One of the things we might need is additional location access. This is for safety to get on and off the location and flexibility and lets us do things like, in this picture you can see we're storing the AT wagon there. We always want to keep the work progressing, so we need multiple ways off and on location a lot of times. Might need a pump pad. We can't get on location with the pumps and set them up on location. We might need a pump pad off the location. Some, sometimes that requires a lot of tree removal. In West Texas, maybe not so much. The ground needs to be stabilized though, so there's quite a bit of construction project that needs to do that to either remove trees or even just stabilize the ground. Might need a flare pit. Need to know that early on. These flare pits can be really large, you know, 100, 200, 250 feet long across the bottom of them. So we need to do that early because it takes quite a bit of construction work to get these flare pits done. And we want that completed, but well, it's time to cap the well. Water management. We're going to be squirting water if it's a fire or we're squirting water for to keep the fire suppression going. We need to do something with that water. Sometimes they won't let you let the water just go into the natural drainage. So we have to catch the water and dispose of it or recycle it or whatever. Here's a picture where you got to do a lot of water management for the produced water. So that's a big deal. Water management can take a lot of construction work. Sometimes if we need to skid the rig, we need to have a lane for the bulldozer to pull the live line on the skidding assembly. Or we have to set a dead man when we're going to skid the rig. Here's a picture of a big hole where we set the dead man. Still, see it's got pallets in there or mats in there where we have to set the drill collars around the, and anchor them to the block that we're going to, the stationary block for the skidding. So that's all got to be dug out, covered back up. And, that sort of thing. So lots of earthwork can be required for many, many reasons. Next time we're going to talk about digging around the well. Thanks for watching. Give us a click for thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Remember what Billy said, God is great, beer is good, and people are crazy.